Hmm. I didn't know that. Remember, remember, have you ever heard somebody like try to explain money when it was imperial? It's fucking honestly, it's. <sighs> My dad was like, I, and then for three hatreds you get a fucking thruppings and fucking yeah. and it's like just so confusing isn't it? but uh, uh, metric is all based around like like you get millimetres then you get uh, micrometres then you get picometers and you get kilometers and mm. you know what I mean? My dad once made this chart, I suppose, um, converting everything <laughs> into other things. Um, it was literally a case of like when he was dying, basically. He was just like, "Son, <coughs> giving one of these to all of you." <laughs> oh. Just so we had a reference if any and honestly, you know how a furlong is used in like horse racing? Yeah. Like that's something like two hundred and twenty meters. Or like that. Right. <laughs> I don't know, it might be like it might be seventy two, who knows, like, but it's an it's a it's just But your dad amount. gave your dad gave you a map? <laughs> he gave, he, basically it included furlongs. Yards, yeah. furlongs, things I'd heard of, you know, like old school fucking conversions. What Just, is it? <laughs> his what way of it? making sure he sees me right after death is giving me a chance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if I was Neil Armstrong or Buzz Aldrin, I would say for a daily, aliens are real. I've seen them or something like that. Just to fuck people off of. <laughs> or like Neil de, de Grass Tyson's, like, by the way. I've met an alien, and I was only trying to pretend that they're not real, but that's real. Oh, it's fucking the way it. Like, it's just last mm-hmm. words. They they definitely exist. We definitely haven't met them. Yeah, I think they're oh, in the ocean. Like, they're already there, like ah. jellyfish and o- o- Douglas octopi. Adams. Fucking Douglas Adams yeah. said that the best, like he says, space is big. It's really, really big. You won't believe how mind-numbingly big that, this, that space is. I saw that. I was, I was close to it. Like, <laughs> I don't remember that quote. Cool, like, uh, I, I can't you know, believe that. You never read Douglas The Hitchhiker's read, Guide? I've, I've, I've read them all. Ah, the first, so long, like, thanks for the fish. It's practically the first thing that's said in uh, The Hitchhiker's Guide. The space is big, really, really big. You won't believe how mind-numbingly big it is. Uh, there's a lot of black and sort of fuck all in space, so right? it's not like there's planets nice to each other, it's... Nah. There's a lot of nothing, though. Right? Space is huge, man. S- the nearest stars, star would take us 10,000 years to get there. The yes, but there's about 5,000 stars in the whole universe, like, right? mental, like, loads. <laughs> there's billions, man. Infinite. Nah, but if I was Neil deGrasse Tyson, I would say, by the way, I was looking at the best, like, the fucking aliens are mental, it's not real work. Yes. One of the staff from the club coming to the shop today, I mean, the conversation I've got on to the fact that I've got a mockumentary on about conspiracies. He's, um, you know, he was, he's not, like, fallen for him, but he's just, mm. I'm interested. I thought, like, well, some of them, you know, got credence and that, but like, you know, flat earth and his oh, yes, you know, ridiculous, but like, aliens, and I'm like, definitely exist, we haven't met them. Don't. Sucks like, I wish you... Nah, if you get the technology, if they had the technology far beyond ours, they'd be able to reach us. Otherwise, it's, I said it's the distances, it's like, nah, if they had the technology far beyond us. Like, but oh, but, but that's it e- e- even at the speed of light, it was still, you know what I mean? It, was, it would take someone like, uh, if they could travel at the speed of light, they could get the Proxima B to us in like fucking, I think it's somewhere, like, somewhere around about 10 years there. But, oh, 
but that's but who's who's to know if there's even going to be life that closer? We might have to go like fucking yeah, gamble thousands, like, thousands, of light years away. Which or millions. The only possibilities are that if they were to also had the technology to cryogenically freeze themselves and thaw themselves safely. Uh, um, but something we've never talked about before. Another facet to this is if a civilization got strong enough to be able to, you know, do that, if it survived all those extinction events that it would definitely have as a planet, there's a high chance, it's almost certain, in fact, they would also inherit the natures of what humans do and be fighting each other. Like, it's, you know, they just... There's another thing. See, even if they were able to get up... Well, in fact, this proves that they can yeah. get up close to the speed of light. Uh, the Newton Newtonian yes. uh, fucking formula that force equals mass times acceleration if you rearrange that it tells you that the faster you go the more you weigh so if you were going close to the speed of light it would be so much harder to keep yourself in motion so even it's just everyone says that aliens have they got here and we kind of get to them. Everyone says I, I, just look, Pete, I, I don't believe at all. Right? There's so much chance that they have been here, but then there's 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 also the same amount of chance that they've not been here. Again, it's like we 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 just don't know. Did you ever think like say like two hundred years? There's no chance. So that's what I'm trying yeah, to tell but, you. Do you even think, go like, to speed of light? Uh, it's, it's prohibitive. Uh, say in the seventeenth century, pro- prohibitive. Uh, say at the start of nineteenth, the twentieth century, and if I said to you, one day we'll send a camera to Mars in a hundred years, would you believe that? Like, aye, 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 you've got a point. Uh, well, I mean, if, it's, it's uh, all about if, time. Uh, if we were to meet somebody for a hundred years ago and say, "Look yeah, what we've got," they would think we were fucking say, gods. They would say, "This is a photo taken by the James Webb Telescope six billion years ago. It's the half of the life of the uh, whole universe." And go, what are you fucking on about? To hook you? No, you can Nah, but if they, then you know, to back up your your own point, uh, uh, if they were to see like fucking laptops and TVs oh, wow, and be, mobile he, he phones, uh, they 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 would be like, you're a fucking magician, you do. A pedophile magician. Looking up porn on your fucking hear a chugging. Look what well, we can do. We can hear a chug any time we want. <laughs> I'd love to go to like a total old Highlander of like 17th century and show them total filth on my phone. Like, check it this man. Eggs hamster. That, 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 that reminds that, me that, of fucking uh, Destiny so One. Uh, Master Raoul would say half of this pre golden age. Uh, Information is smart. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's true. Like. Uh, that is all smart. Like. I meant to use the in, internet for good of humanity. We end up for fucking <laughs> smart and fail videos <laughs> and shit. And <laughs> call each other fucking being total trolling and that homophobic and racist and that. <laughs> evil guns. <laughs> I'm sipping on small of faces here. Face. Oh. I'm on my second big bottle. Oh, I don't know. What is that, a litre? A few yeah, weeks ago. How would you do it? I is love it? fucking hooch, man. Hooch is ace, like. Uh, well, a few weeks ago, I got a hooch. First time ever in my life, it was a raspberry one, it was really horrible, right? It, didn't it? it tasted a bit too bit like vodka, eh? it's kind of weird. Ah, uh, just oh. your lemon hooch is fucking awesome, right? Like. Never had, well, we have had a taste of it, right? Like. I've never, eh. Uh, eh, uh, had it in full bill, full bit too. Dave likes uh, Iron Brew, Wicked. Wicked, uh, blue ones, right? Like. I had, like fruity ciders when it comes to that sort of thing. Like, it's the uh, re- recorder loud later. Uh, m- m- Magnum is like the nice man. Yeah, recorder got its day. 
Well, yeah. Uncle James left a duck fruit uh, strong boa. Try that, it just tasted like fucking vip boa. Yeah. yeah. A lot of places, you remember snake bites? A lot of places, I don't know about up there. But down there Aye, sell I mean, them. we don't sell them anymore, like, but we used to. Do. Yeah, they banned them. Literally, places now, if you actually ask for. Um, have you ever. Uh, uh, this is actually, I want to know if you've ever heard there a cheeky vimpto. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, well, I, I can't remember exactly. It's, was it WKD Blue and Port? Aye. Uh, yeah, we used to have something in Zanty that we'd make with, because uh, they had red vodka out there, which is basically, you know, slow gin? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Made with slow berries, that's the flavour. That's all it is. Slow berry flavoured gin. From Iceland. Red vodka is basically slow berry vodka. But it's quite sweet and nice, but it's only about 22%. But yeah, you uh, shot a red vodka, shot a white vodka, top it with WKD blue, damn it. Doesn't taste like any alcohol. I remember stitching one of my colleagues right up once because I thought he was a twat. I thought if I get him really fucking drunk, he's already in trouble for drinking. Mm. Routine. I'm going to the gym tomorrow. No, because it's Sunday and I've got to go to the bookers in the morning, but um. I've done, it's not the, f the other day was not the first day I actually yeah. went really hard to fail yeah. and stuff. So yeah. So I'm pretty sore. Just one of my shoulders in particular. That's good though, good on you. Yeah. Oh, shoulders are not. I hate doing shoulders, right? Like. I like shoulders. Oh, I hate it, like. There's lots of, it's legs that people don't like doing, but like you see these massive blokes down the gym and they've got tiny legs. Yeah. Ah, oh, you need to get your legs, legs like. I can't do my legs at the moment though, because of my sciatica. Yeah, I'll, I actually like doing shoulder r r raises, but I hate shoulder press. Eh? I fucking despise it. Like. You gotta get it. The machines are a bit too isolated. They're good because they're isolated. Well, that's, what they're, that's why some people yeah. use them. But you got no freedom. So if your your specific shoulder doesn't like going in that movement, ah, it's, it's just... painful. Like. Yeah, the thing with so... free weights is it actually makes your whole your whole body exercise almost, it gets you braced for lifting the weight up. If you're just doing a machine, it's kind of forcing one position, you know what I mean? It almost oh, is good, like. Right, right, like, if you're using machines, you're forced into one position, but if you're using shoulders, uh, free weights, to do like shoulder press, for example, you're sort of using a lot more muscles to, to lift it, hold it. Yeah, you've just got more room for error, and yeah. the difference. And it sort of trains you to be uh, balanced now. Mm. But if, if, for example, you're training for aesthetics and there's one particular muscle group, one specific ah, one, one muscle, yeah. you need to match the other, you know, just work on that specific bit for a bit. Yeah. I'm allowed to do, the chiropractor said I'm allowed to do body weight stuff, like legs. But I'm not even doing back because he was like, we just don't want to aggravate it right now. You're getting yeah. a lot better. He described one part of my back as being chronically tight. And it is a bit that a few years ago I got a little sort of, you know, when you just tiny little injury, just, you know, it's almost like a muscle fibre tears when you're weightlifting and it just never really went away. And he sort of, mm -hmm. it's when I stopped to set the wrong way mm -hmm. and just twisted my muscle around, a tiny little bit in the middle of my back to the right and my spine. So yeah, that yeah. bit is chronically tight, right? but it's getting better and better. I think he said it was chronically tight, yeah. Massage I had the other day. That, first time I've ever had a proper one, but it actually hurt. Oh, it like, could be so like. She wasn't like rubbing backwards and forwards and doing the sort of, you know, like just generally. She was specifically targeting, she was feeling for like, you know, bad bits. Pushing mm. it in and then just dragging her hand down really slowly whilst pushing onto another bit. Obviously, she knows what she's doing. So I just obviously withstood the pain because I just thought she's done it for a reason. She's calculated. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait to get on to the rest, but it's just like really relaxing. You have to jerk you half at the end of it, man. <laughs> Check crystals. Happy man. ending. Her name was Jewel as well. Jewel. You need to go to a Thai massage place to get you up to our throat. There's actually one at the town centre, if you go in there. Sweet. Let's do it. It's me that will gain, gain the massage like this, I think. <laughs> oh no. You were fucking happy ending, Peter. I'm spitting my hand in it. 
<laughs> if you'd have opened it. Fucking my gun, dude. <laughs> oh. Hey, let's get a one. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna get off heads. Right. Yeah, yeah. See, you, see you tomorrow, dude. Right, sure, dude. Bye, bye, dude. Fucking jet off, P.R. Huh? Happy ending, man. I like get an expensive hooker look. Prostitutes. Snort coke after tits. The guy who Robocop. <laughs> Who's your favourite melted man, Pete, in cinema? You got the guy for Robocop, melted man. So what was it? This little pod face or something? I remember, but he looked—he was melted. Man, he was like, ooh, little arms out in it. The toxic Avengers melted man, technically. Uh -huh. Or melted man, or. Oh. Uh, T1000 and Terminator. They melted men. Motor pen, get it in your fucking ass. Um, the guy who, who found Roger Rabbit. In the documentary, uh, Christopher Lloyd, Milky Man at the end. Yep, it's Milky Man. And Milky Man. <coughs> And that's it. <laughs> yeah, cover it. They're actually UK as well, aren't UK company. Yeah, man, they're British, bro. Gee, fucking Tories. Oh, fuck's sake, I didn't know he was in there. <laughs> Tory scum, Pete. Tory. Like massive greasy Tory. Did you get this person's Right story? in your chest. Do you ever look at somebody's puss and go, I need to punch that? Like, uh, Jacob Rees Mug, or Moog, who knows? He's his puss. Ha! Fucking hell, eh? Smug Tory, looks like the kind of the Tobino, eh? Like the nerdy guy. Fucking mob. Jordan. Uh... <sighs> Get it off him, man. Fucking hell. Mm. It didn't leave that. You ever seen a film called Falling Down Before Feet? Hi. <laughs> Great film, eh? D yep. Defense, that's his name, eh? We call him Defense. Because he's got a defense license plate. This guy. Fuck. Defense.
gefunden. Okay, when I took a COVID test, I felt really bad. It was like the line was the same colour as the control line. <laughs> it was fucking proper black, like. You're <laughs> fucking riddled, mate. Oh, no. Riddled. Oh. Tricks. Oh. Oh, go, 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 go. Defense. You watched any good films recently, Pete? Nah. No. Nah. Just been watching YouTube. YouTube's nonce catching channel. Right. Get the nonces rounded up. Who's your favourite nonce speech? Michael Jackson. Ah, fucking tunes are amazing. Always, always forgiving Pete because his tunes are that good. Doesn't matter. He's a fucking like, beast there. Eh? See, everybody doesn't want to believe it, but uh, but it's as clear as the nose in your face. Yeah. Where are all the wee lassies? That's what I want to care. Lassies are fucking minging, Pete. Not the wee willies, Pete. Reverently boys bums. Dunk. Dunk and Willie's beat. MJ's like, lassies, I'm not a fucking buff. I'm not a fucking buff, dude, man. 
Donc euh, le libéralisme, hein, je sais pas. Je sais pas. Je sais pas. Je suis sûr qu'il y a des hipsters dans le monde, mais il y a des gens dans le street. Il y a des gens qui ont été mis en train de faire ça. Il y a des gens qui ont été mis en train de faire ça. Il y a des gens qui ont été mis en train de faire ça. C'est un shame. He's not even aware he's probably got that, like, he's become a famous man. But he's not even aware that he was there that day. Just to get some crack, right? There you go, Smoking crack and banging up fucking heroin. Banging, getting banged up the butt. Denied. You can't even the fucking booze. Wow. Whacking on my dad's campus. See the uh, Beavis and Butthead movie when they're like, uh, Tom Manderson's like, somebody's been whacking on my camp over there. And the total cuts to Beavis and he's like biting his lip going, mm, mm. <laughs> totally embarrassed. But, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna get that Paramount trial actually. I've seen you abuse in Butthead. Star Trek as well. You don't get it on PlayStation, man. It's fucking almost everything. Yeah, you get it through Amazon Prime. Do you? Amazon, ah, Amazon Prime, if you go to things like extra content or apps on the Prime app, you, you get it. Because I got sh shuddered a horror thing for it. Right? Let me see. Uh, you go to uh, Prime Video. Ah, it's in there somewhere, like. There's a fucking messy on that, by the way. It's a fucking disaster. Give me the ball. I don't know what. The scenario is, but search for Beams and Butthead, look at the movie, and try and open it. Maybe it'll take you to it. Dunk. I don't think I can get it on mom and dad's parliament. May yeah, prime. I should be able to, right? It's a free trial. Nah, I can get a free trial, but what I'm saying is mom and dad already pay for it. Huh? What? Uh, what, prime? Uh, no. Paramount. Uh, paramount. I mean, can you not use their one then? No, I think it's linked to your primer. Have you just got two different primer accounts at the one house? No, nah, man. They use my primer. Oh, so you should be able to use, use them. No, nah, you're getting confused, dude. I'm not. Yeah, man. Uh, look. So how they've, they've got, got they've got Paramount, right? Right. They use my. My, uh, right, basically, right, see if it was my Paramount, that would be no bother, but, oh. but the fact that it's mum and dad's. Why can't you use it? Like, and it isn't linked, because it isn't linked to, uh, just a, to, to my Primer. Is it just an app on its own? 
Like they put uh, they've they've got it on its own now. Right. Maybe you could use their account. You don't get shared accounts though. Usually we'll just get two accounts at least. Well, I could, the, but but it's attached. But it's attached to my Prime. Right, you carry you you carry log in, uh, and that Prime. Uh, you can try download the Prime app if they offer you a, a login and use your parents one. Store. There we go. Uh, subscriptions Paramount Plus. It's paramount you get plus. Oh, what the fuck? Play. It's only seven pound a month, though. I'm pretty good at this now. I'm going to pay the painful rosy shit now, man. I say it, I'm paying for it, I'm not paying for it, fuck all, apart from Spotify, PlayStation. I fucking use everybody else's login. Oh, did you get that song, Walk Like an e e e Egyptian Pete? Uh. We're, we're, we're going to do a cover it for the Halloween gigs, eh? Like, all, all punked up, but... Oh, what tune, sorry? Yeah, uh, Walk Like an e e e Egyptian. Uh -huh. So, do, 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 oh, yo, yo. I don't know, like, listen to it, like, I've got to listen. I heard you got pumped by all the guys for the Who, as in the H-U, and those kids, but we, mind, you got pumped by them. I don't know, I don't like a mind up. Yeah, I told Mongolian is bumming me. Doing that throat Mongo singing. Mongoloids. Doing that throat singing, you know, this is ace, man. Oh, what's going on here, Pete? Who are all these Asian men bumming you? Singing their throats. What's going on here? What's going on? Oh. 
there's a new Assassin's Creed coming out. Oh man, I fucking I made a belt of a fucking remix of one of my tunes, like it's fucking awesome. You sent me that. Right? I gave it a listen already. Really. See, I don't think you'd like it, by the way. It's got samples in it. What do you mean? Samples. Face splice. Oh, like stock ones. Like the vocal samples. Yep. No, I'm going to listen to you get you, you get good to stock samples as well, right? So I get stuck until you use it, right? Mm. I've been processed the fucker. Yeah. It's not if I just lift a sample and somebody else can make the exact same tuner. No, because up. I started with the tuner, I didn't start with the sampler. Chopped it up, fucking re it. I, it wasn't even in the right fucking key. Yeah, good. I had to put it in a different key. I had to fuck about with the timings of it. Uh, and it didn't come drier, it came wetter, so I had to match the wetness and that. Mm. So that it didn't sound like echoey and then bossed no sound. When in, in the chops, I had to add the same echo on it so that it would like echo out yeah. like you would expect it to hear it. Oh man, I've done a lot to it. Like, that's good, man. And there's yeah. another wee sample that I got. Uh, it goes, it goes, I'm tripping, I'm tripping, I'm tripping, I'm tripping on a daydream, right? And then, then I cut off the daydream bit. And I, and I, I spliced in this other sample, it's somebody whispering mushrooms, but I chopped mm. off the S. And, but it was all distorted uh, and fizzy. I had mm. to like go in and EQ out the fizzer, and now it sounds like I'm tripping, I'm tripping, I'm tripping, tripping on a mushroom. And then the boom, 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 boom comes in, it's fucking awesome. Like, sounds good. Cool, right? Everybody I've showed it, man, they're all like, that's fucking amazing. Like. I still think you should sample Kurt Cobain saying, with the, the lights out, with the lights out, and make that a total dance tune, like, just with that one sample. It's so cool. Like. It would sound cool, man, with but, but you can't even put it up on a SoundCloud or that, though, well, because it's... You know, just uh, do it for your own personal job. Uh, I see Splice make you make you work for your sample. Eh? All the samples are like no ideal. Like you hate to change yeah. them, and well, it's a good thing really, because eh? you don't want everybody to use the same sample and come up with the same tunes. Eh? Yeah. Oh, 
I can see that working with the lights out. Boom, ba da 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 boom. It cuts, it cuts just as the beat comes in. I, I know exactly yeah. what you're talking about. Like. And then you, if you do it live, you turn the lights off. You know what I mean? Aye, amazing, talk to the light, the lighting engineer. Eh? Yeah. Go. That just dark. No. Uh, I it would, it it would work like it would work. Right. Do you care? Hope they love us. It'd be a bit easier licensing Nirvana stuff these days. Eh? If you done it, if you licensed it to a uh, comic book film, it worked really well. Mm -hmm. uh, something in the way. I think I heard that. It's a wee bit cruel, like, it's fucking indeed, like, it's war is war. It's... It was for Man Bat. The new Aye, fucking, Man Bat thing. Fucking see this uh, sample I used there? I was like, right, I want something to do with tripping. And I want something to do with mushrooms, eh? So I just hmm. started searching Splicer. Eh? And the only decent tripping one I could find was like fucking way out of Kia. Mm. I was like, I was like, fuck it. I'll just count the amount of suit and I'll change it. I'll change it. And then mm. I changed it, and it was double. It was it was really quick. It was like, it was like I'm tripping, I'm tripping, I'm tripping, I'm tripping on a daydream. Tripping, tripping, I'm tripping, I'm tripping on a daydream like that. So I. So, <laughs> So I stretched that to make it more like I'm tripping, I'm tripping, <laughs> tripping, yeah. trip, tripping on a daydream. Then I maybe I also hear this sample work the way that I've got. Like. Mm -hmm. I don't like the thought of that. Like well, somebody well, else well. using the sample exactly the same way as you've used it. Oh fuck! I love it. Uh, the track was was called Mycelium before I found the samples eh? so I like it was already to do with mushrooms, eh? and I was like, I need to find samples to do with mushrooms. Good work. 